There's a problem. Complications in surgery? Surgery went fine. He's in recovery. But we took a vial of CSF and tested it. Really? It turns out the Boeing wasn't the cause of his problems. It was a symptom. Oligoclonal bands and increased intrathecal IgG. Which means multiple sclerosis. And the reason it takes three of you to tell me this? Because we're having a disagreement about whether or not it is MS. No lesions on the MRI. It's early. He's had the disease for maybe two weeks. McDonald's criteria requires six months to make a definitive diagnosis. Oh, who cares about McPherson? I hear he tortured kittens. McDonald. Oh, McDonald. Wonderful doctor, love kittens. The VEP indicates slowing of the brain. Without the lesions, we can't be sure. You know, if it is, it's gone from zero to 60 in three weeks, which would indicate rapidly progressive MS. Not the fun MS with the balloons and the bike rides for cripples in wheelchairs. We should wait until we start treating him now. Maybe he can walk for another couple of years, maybe live for another five. Break it to the family, I'm going home. It'll take months for a definitive diagnosis. What'll happen to me? MS is an incredibly variable disease, if it is MS, and we're not 100% sure. What do you think is going to happen? There are some medications to manage the symptoms, but as the disease progresses, the problems will become more severe. Bowel and bladder dysfunction, loss of cognitive function, pain. So it's going to hurt? The brain's like a, a big jumble of wires. MS strips them of the insulation and the nerves die brain interprets it as pain. But by starting treatment, we're gonna prevent that for as long as possible. We're looking into a couple of specialists and until we get you squared away, you'll stay here, okay? Security checked the videotapes from all perimeter cameras. He's still got to be in the hospital. Where's Chase? Main floor. OK, you take the cafeteria and administration. I'll hit the research annex and work my way back to you. Here. Patient? No, Hooker went to my office instead of my home. Dr. House, Dan's missing. Yeah, I got that part from the message. You said I was needed immediately. He shouldn't move after a lumbar puncture. I agree, he's gonna have a very nasty headache. That would also be my opinion if consulted tomorrow morning. We wanted to keep you informed. You heard some pretty heavy news. This is not a toddler wandering around a department store. He's 16. You'll find him. I'm going home. So when you say call me if you need anything, you mean don't call no, me? No, I mean call me if I can do something. I'm bad at search parties and I'm bad at sitting around looking nervous doing nothing. What about his parents? Should we call them? Why, do you think they're hiding him? Make sure someone checks the roof. Some of the orderlies keep the door propped open so they can grab a smoke. Dan, you okay? There are experimental treatments, ongoing research. Who knows what they'll discover in a year or two. This is where I dropped the ball. Dan, we're standing on the roof of the hospital. Dan. 
Dan, you're not on the field. He doesn't know where he is. There, Foreman. Dan. Dan? Dan, no! Dan! Dr. Foreman. I assume you found the kid? He almost walked off the roof. Suicidal? No, he thought he was on his lacrosse field. Look, look I was just gonna run home, shower, change. Conscious? Yeah. How'd you talk him down? Actually, Chase tackled him. How come you didn't do it? <laughs> right, well, I am black, but he was closer. Come on, you can run up with me. Anybody tell the family that their boy almost stepped off a roof? They must be thrilled. They're not suing, but I think only because Chase asked them. Why does everybody always think I'm being sarcastic? This is great news. He doesn't have MS. Parents should be thrilled. Well, the mom, anyway. Of course, the dad probably doesn't know. Why doesn't he have MS? He was on the roof thinking he was on a lacrosse field, conscious and therefore not a night terror. You want some of this? Yeah, sure. He was in an acute, confusional state, which doesn't fit with a demyelinating disease like MS. Oh, look at clonal bands. We're real just means something other than MS. So what are they telling us? Uh, the immune system is working? Right. He has an infection in his brain. What about sex? Well, it might get complicated. I mean, we work together. I'm older, certainly, but maybe you like that. I meant maybe he has neurosyphilis. <laughs> nice cover. Sorry, RPI was negative. We don't need a definitive test to confirm this. Sure, didn't need one to confirm MS. Okay, let's wait for you to run tighter on 1,400 viruses while this kid's brain turns to mush. So the fact that he doesn't have MS, it's... It's really not good news after all. Well, it is if it's norosyphilis. Likelihood of a false negative on an RPR test, 30%. Likelihood of a 16-year-old having sex, roughly 120%. I'll start him on IV penicillin. No, we're not gonna wait for that. The most effective way to deliver the drug is right into his brain via the spine. We can't. In a cramped space like the brain, increased intracranial pressure from a high-volume drug like penicillin could herniate his brain stem and kill him. No neurologist in his right mind would recommend that. Show of hands, who thinks I'm not in my right mind? And who thinks I forget this fairly basic neurological fact? Who thinks there's a third option? Very good. What's the third choice? No idea. You just asked if I thought there was one. The patient has a shunt in his brain. There'll be no increased pressure. We can put as much penicillin into his body as we want. Excellent. Inject him through a lumbar puncture. One of us is going to do this to you twice a day for the next two weeks. I'm ready to go. He could get uh, syphilis even if he's not sexually active. Well, it's, it's unusual, but it's possible. Okay, relax. 